Consumers are highly connected to their vehicle these days, and there's many reasons why we may have to disconnect that vehicle from the network so our technicians can work on the vehicle safely. So Mike, tell us more about these connected services and why we have to disconnect them when the vehicle's in the shop. Yeah, it's not uncommon today for a lot of vehicles to be connected. When we say connected, what is that? That means that, for example, if the vehicle gets low on oil or your tire pressure gets low, it may give you some type of warning that says, hey, Mr. or Miss Vehicle Owner, something's wrong with your car. In addition, several vehicles today also have the ability that if you are in an accident um, or something is wrong with your car, you can actually press a button and contact the vehicle manufacturer directly and they can assist you in the event of an accident or your car breaks down or whatever. Now, why is this important for you to know if your vehicle is in a collision repair facility? That's because the collision repair facility may have to place your vehicle in what's called service mode. That means that they need to disable that system so that when they start disassembling the vehicle, the car doesn't start thinking there's something wrong and automatically send you a bunch of alerts. So if you do get some type of email or text notification that says your vehicle has been placed in service mode, that's just so that you don't get multiple email or text notifications during the repair process of your vehicle. If you found today's tip helpful, please hit that thumbs up button and share the video with your family and friends. Comment below for any future suggestions. These videos are made possible by the Society of Collision Repair Specialists. SCRS and their members are committed to the future of the collision repair industry and serving you, the consumer, well. For more information, visit scrs.com or use the link in the description below.